In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can integrate Wix with Shopify. So this can be a little bit um, overwhelming maybe. I'm going to show you how you can do this step by step, but it's not very easy. For this, we also need software called Zapier, but I'm going to start from the beginning. So let's get started. First of all, make sure you're logged in to your Wix website. So manage.wix.com on your dashboard. This is how it should look like here with the panel on the left and here your site. So here on this panel on the left, we want to go to CRM tools and then to automation. So we want to set an automation to integrate it with Shopify. So here we can hit create automation. Um, so here we can change the trigger. So first we have to add a trigger like what has to happen to get a follow-up action. So let's change this to, yeah, Wix store, uh, customer abandons cart. This is, this is an example. We can also change this to customer makes a purchase. So every time a customer makes a purchase on all products, we can even select specific products, then something else will happen. And that's what we can um, yeah, set up with the automations. So let's do whenever a customer makes a purchase, we have to, we can do send email to contact, send a chat message, but we can also do connect to Zapier. With Zapier, we can connect it to a third party, uh, which is Shopify. So let's do connect to Zapier. So log into Zapier.com and click make a zap. That's what we want to do. So we can just activate this, this one. Uh, there we go. So now it's never triggered. Email visitors to recover abandoned cart. My zaps, and you want to go to create zap. Make sure you log in or create an account on Zapier. And once you've done that, you want to type in Wix right here. So make sure you're on Wix automations. There we go. And now we have to choose an event. And as you can see, this here is the event we just created here. So that's great. Make sure it's the automation rule that's this one you just made. Then hit continue and we can select a follow-up one. First, sign into Wix automations through Zapier. There we go. Select. And now it's going to load. So this may take a couple of moments. And there we go. This is it. Wix automations, my side too. And this is the automation we just made here. So that's great. It works. Hit continue. So then we can select email visitors to recover abandoned cart. And hit continue. And then the action will be something in Shopify. So we can test the trigger. So yeah, we can do that. Um, so there we go and it works, the automation works, so we can continue. And now we have to select the action. So for the action, we have to type in Shopify. There we go. Uh, choose an event. So for example, whenever somebody uh, makes an order on Wix, what has to happen on Shopify? So we can do um, yeah anything you want. So of course, this is a little bit weird every time someone buy something on Wix that a product got created, for example, but you get the point, you can do anything. So now we have to sign into Shopify to connect it to Shopify. So there we go. Uh, yes, continue. And as you can see, now we get this, install unlisted app, and boom. Um, it's required and it's done. And now set up the action so we can here set up the full action and then finish. But this is just how it works. It's super easy and I really like this. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.